Hey guys, time for a quick little update on Tessie. I don't remember when my last one was. I've been thrashing on this thing, trying to get it done. Um, so, here's where I'm at. Um, doors, all four doors, open and close and lock as they should, inside and out. Uh, rear door glass is in, and weather strip, run channel stuff is all in. Um, front vent glass is just sitting in there. I do not have front door glass yet. Um, thought I did, but I don't. Uh, I've located a windshield. Uh, that'll be coming up here pretty quick. Uh, I've got my rain gear wiper system installed. And I'll bring a um, more in-depth, maybe not in-depth, I'll give you a better video on that when I have more time. That system went in pretty decent. Um, not sure it's worth what they get for it but uh, I couldn't have done any better so who am I to say uh, also went ahead and put a little bit of bling I can't really see here but I got the grill got the grill put in and it looks awesome I'm gonna have to, I'm not running a front valance or a front bumper so I'm gonna have to make a brace that'll go from here to the bottom of the radiator support just to kind of stabilize things here a little bit that's no big shouldn't be a big deal uh, i've got my quarter glass rubbers kind of just adjusting um, to that as well as the lift gate glass it's all just clear glass no big deal um, i've got i'm pretty much ready to put that stuff in but I have to, uh, have to decide what I want to do on the window side of the rubber. If I'm going to put a sealant in there, I should. Um, but how to do it without making a complete mess, I don't know. Um, but I do need to figure that out before I put glass in. Otherwise, quarter glass and tailgate glass are ready to be installed. I just got to clean up the retainers a little bit. Maybe spray a little black paint on them and they will be good to go um, yeah so I gotta throw the window in uh, I was able to sand out my little run and polish that out there was a little bit of a I had a little bit of a drip here I don't know if I showed that on any of the videos but surprisingly enough I was able to cut and buff that out of there without having to go to and I could have went further there's a little bit of it here but I'm not gonna worry about that if anybody sees it and points it out, well, good for them. Um, but yeah, the uh, yeah windows on this side. I put put tape on to remind myself that there's actually glass in the door, so I won't like go chuck something through the door and break my window. Um, so yeah, otherwise everything is looking good. Uh, threw some more hardware into things just to firm everything up, but. Uh, I'm real, really psyched about the grill going in. Um, it's it's a piece I found in Jefferson a few years ago, spring show, and I honestly don't know if it's if it's an original piece. I'd be very very surprised. It's in really good shape, other than a couple of a couple of dingers in it. I think there was one down here. Um, I I doubt it's an original piece. But if it is an aftermarket, it's an older one because it's really good quality. Came with the lower molding, um, you know, and it's got a little bit of wear on it, and it's got a little patina to it, which I'm completely okay with. Um, I paid less than half of what a new reproduction grill is, and I got the molding thrown in, um, so I'm good with that. Um, the grill bar I had sandblasted and painted. It's just in black epoxy. That's kind of what I like to do on those. All those trim pieces and stuff. I have a, I'm not 100% on this stuff yet, but I just put it in there so I wouldn't lose the stuff. Um, but yeah, just a quick update here. Uh, making good progress. I'm running out of time. I've got about, <laughs> got about a, maybe a month. Um, month to six weeks at the most to get this thing on the road. Um, needs exhaust needs finished glass 
an alignment and I got to put at least a rear bumper on it and decide what I'm doing with this right quarter. I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to just buzz it down with a DA and I'm going to just uh, blow some black primer on it and throw the bumper on it and I'm going to save it for later. Uh, bumper will be the last thing to go on so if there is time to do a little bit of a patch I'll do one otherwise I'm gonna just kinda let that slide for right now um, it doesn't look as nice as the other side but it's gonna go into a, either a project car class or a rat rod class I'm not sure what they're gonna have at this year's show um, I gotta get underneath and check all of my fasteners double check everything and then while I'm doing that I'm going to get a tool list together so um, so I can pack a toolbox or a tool chest in this car with me all the time that has everything in it to tighten or loosen everything on the car um, plus some miscellaneous tools so like you know I'll probably have you know an Allen wrench set and, a, and a, a, an SAE wrench set and socket set you know in probably in probably pick up a cheap like universal you know one of those like in our own little blow mold cases but like you know specialty things you know allen head wrenches for like the steering wheel and the, the coupler on the steering in case that were to come loose you know while cruising around um you know a test light some wire some soldered list connectors a wiring pliers you know just things like that that I will keep in the car because uh, it's an old car you know uh, and it's unproven so you know things are gonna get missed things may loosen up and leak I hope not um, really shouldn't but you know it's a big project and a lot of time has passed and I don't I've been on every inch of this car but I can't tell you off the top of my head what I'm gonna need for tools you know Maybe a couple light bulbs and that, that kind of thing, you know, a, a lug wrench or at least a socket and a bar, you know, to do lug nuts and probably a bottle jack and, you know, something in case I got to change a tire and then whatever. I'm rambling. So um, I'll bring you a better update when I have more time. I'm actually on my lunch break right now and probably should go back to work. Don't really want to, but uh, much rather be out here working on this. But such is life. Alright, thanks guys. See you soon.